Here's the Google Pixel Watch. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. Now you don't have to set this up to a Google Pixel phone. You can set this up to any Android as long as it has Android uh, 8.0 and above. Okay, I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus here. So first thing is just make sure that your watch is on. Go ahead and turn it on and you should get to here. Okay, so once you have this on, go ahead and grab your Android phone and we're going to go ahead and Go ahead and un unlock it. All right, and as soon as I unlocked it, this here pops up, okay? Now, this doesn't pop up. Just go down here and press the little eye down here. Just press that and then wait to see if it um, something pops up on your phone. So you wanna go ahead and download the Google Pixel Watch app directly from your Google Play Store. So you can go to your Google Play Store. And this is what the icon here looks like. Let me go ahead and install this. Now I get a pin here, does that match mine here? It does, I'm gonna tap on confirm. Terms of service, now all these are optional, but go ahead and read through these, okay? The first one here is stay connected over Wi-Fi or LTE with Google Cloud Sync, okay? So these are all optional, okay? But for myself, I'm fine with having all of them toggled on. I'm gonna to tap on I agree down here. Get a message down here, allow Google Watch to find. I'm gonna tap on allow right there. Allow Google Pixel Watch to manage your Google Pixel Watch and that number. Tap on Allow. Connecting your watch. This may take a minute. Checking for Google account. So I found one of my email addresses, but I can continue as this one, or I can choose another one, or I can skip it. I'm going to go ahead and sign in now using this one. I'm going to tap right there. Needs to verify my identity. Additional legal terms. Go ahead and read through all of these and you must accept to continue, okay? So I'm gonna tap on I accept. Welcome to your new Google Pixel Watch. Let's tap on next. Put on your watch. Now I'm gonna tap on next here. Set watch orientation. Is it on your left wrist or right, li or, uh, right wrist? Mine's on my left, and that crown is also on the left. Where's the crown? My crown is on, oh sorry, it's on the right hand side. So that's right, so I'm gonna tap on next. Learn how to switch bands. You can click on next if you want to see that. I'm going to click on not now for that. Get the Fitbit mobile app. If you want to go ahead and get that, go ahead and click on install. I'm going to do mine later. I already have the Fitbit app, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap on do it later. But that's a preference. Talk to your watch. Uh, basically, setting up the Google Assistant. If you want to set it up, tap on set up. I'm going to go ahead and skip it for myself. You're almost done. Let's tap on continue. Set a lock on your watch, basically a password. You can do a pin or you can do some pattern. I'm gonna do a pin here. Enter pin on your watch. So I'm gonna enter my pin here that I'm gonna choose. Confirm pin one more time. All right. Google Wallet, go ahead and tap next to set up or you can go ahead and skip it and set it up later, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead, for me, I'll skip that and I'll set that up later myself. Select apps for your watch, okay? So let's scroll down. It says installed, installed on your devices. So you can tap down there and you can go ahead and read through this. And also down here, it has a recommended for watches. So if you tap down here, I mean, I'm not interested in any of these, but you know, you got a heart rate monitor, uh, sleep, relax, like music, stuff like that. But for myself, I'm gonna skip that. Setup is complete. Your watch may need to restart. It's going to have to restart. While you wait, take a tour of top features to get the most out of your watch. So you want to take a tour, you can tap on uh, see top features down here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and tap on done here. And it's restarting right now. Go ahead and let it do its thing. It's booting back up. So let me put in my pin now. Starting. And it's back up. Let me sign back in. Now you can read through this. It says, hi there, learn how to use the new watch. Tap on the check mark. Let's start with swipes. Swipe up for notification. Access notifications from the watch face. And how you do that is you swipe down for quick settings. Quick settings right there. Access quick settings from the watch face. Swipe from the left edge to go back. You can swipe from the left edge on the apps, tiles, and more. Now let's learn about these tiles. 
tiles are assessed from the watch face and show how helpful info from your apps. Tap on OK. Swipe left or right to cycle through your tiles. So you can swipe in this way as well. Steps. Keep swiping for more tiles. Heart rate. It's not showing because I don't have it on my wrist, but if you have yours on, you should be able to see it. Now let's learn about the two buttons. Let's click on OK. You got the two buttons here. Press the crown to go back on the watch face. So you got the crown button right here, that big button right there. You can return to the watch face anytime. From the watch face, press the crown for apps. So press right there. Go to apps. And you can scroll down and whatnot. You can get all of your apps from here. Okay. Press the side button to see your recently used apps. So the side button is above the crown. Okay. So the side button is right there. You can see your recent menu right there and you'd be able to scroll. You can access your recent apps from anywhere. All set. You want to learn a few more tips to retry later or to try later. Let's just go ahead and do it. Click on check mark. To switch to your last used app, double press the side button. So the side button is above the crown. And there we go. So you should be up and running now. Now you have a lot of settings and everything on your uh, watch app as well. You can change your watch faces, notifications, privacy, accessibility, system, and so on as on uh, the app as well. So that's pretty much it. Any questions or issues, uh, just comment below. All right, good luck, guys. Bye.